Somehow, the heroes had beached the big blooper and crossed the tile pool. But before they could drive, they saw the imposing silhouette of Fort Francis. Sure is getting dark, Peach said in a quiet voice. But when they looked up, they realized they were in the shadow of a huge tree. Mario, knowing in his gut this must be the way, set out toward the great tree. Chapter 3, 2, 3. Up, up in a tree. What's up, my little chair bombs? This is a chair bummer here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Paper Mario. Last time we crossed a vast ocean of the tile pool, and now in this episode, we have reached the dotwood tree. I hate this level with a passion. This was the level that I raged at after I raged at the a million rubies moment in chapter two. I couldn't for the life of me really, I spent a long time on this stupid level and you'll see exactly why or how I spent so much time on it in the first place. We have a slow, a very slow flower and we gotta level up. Awesome. Very slow. Oh, man! Oh, okay, so now we have a fast lower! Oh, goodness gracious! Saves a lot! Um, so, I didn't- I wasn't able to showcase it there, but if you get- if you have a slow flower or a fast flower effect on, if you get a flower of the opposite, um, way, so if you get- so if you have a fast flower, and then, uh, effect, and if you get a slow flower, or vice versa, then, yeah, you will actually restore time back to normal, which I thought was absolute, which I think is actually pretty nice. Um, and I actually managed to get that fast flower immediately after I lost the slow flower, so I couldn't show it off, which sucks. Um, but at least I was able to, uh, get even more points. Based on it. Okay. So, oh goodness. So this is um, another gerbil, or not gerbil. I'm so used to chapter two. Um, <laughs> that was another churble, um that spits out poison. And it's the last churbol. Okay, so on the sidelines here, looking to Mario. You see a row of coins, looking to 3D. Make more. We learned this lesson. I've repeated that lesson tons of times, but it's a good lesson. It's a good lesson to learn. Because there's a lot of moments in this game where you can easily see a, a robe of coins and be like, Ooh, coins! And just like mindlessly get them. Although, you, although you're missing out on like 20 more. Okay. So, we've finally made it to the not top. We've made it to the tree, or the leaves. Okay. Well, not even. Well, that's just like, I don't really know. Okay, so, this doorway is covered in dried bark. It's sealed shut. Now, this was a puzzle that I didn't get at first, and I did have to look this one up when I was a kid. Um, but you're just supposed to, uh, burn off the dried wood with other flames. It's not very clear that you could do that. You have to kind of think uh, about real world physics and know that, hey, wood can burn. The little old me thought that, oh, it's sealed shut, so there must be like a switch or something around that I can press to make the, the bark go away. No. Also, Something that I completely forgot to mention with Bowser is that if we actually, if we go into our info menu here, um, where we have level hard point attack, score next level coins and high plate. Do you see the attack? That is the attack power that every character or playable character has. Bowser is 
less maneuverable. He's harder to control, but he does double the damage that either Mario or Peach does. So he's actually a really, really good boss killer. He's really overpowered if you level him up a lot. Yeah. So Mario and Peach will only do three damage of health to an enemy. Well, Bowser can do six, which is awesome. Okay, so this part. This whole escalated climb, so you can see we have to go through all of that. Yeah, we have a way, we have quite a ways to go here. Um, hit this button. You might be wondering, well, what did that do? Well, let's go back down the pipe. See that? There are now pink blocks here. So, okay, this uses a method of, oh, okay. So these are amazing daisies. Um, forget what I was about to say. These are amazing daisies. They will sing at you, and if their note touches you, then you will fall asleep, being immobilized and forced to shake your remote constantly to wake yourself up. This is more of a problem in this level than you can ever dream. Okay, but first, these switches. You press them. Either to blue or pink, which will cause certain platforms to appear. <sighs> you can imagine. Mixed with the plentiful amazing daisies that are around here. Woo! It's easy to fall off. Very easy. And if you have a certain... And if you land somewhere in the lower part of the tree, then you will not have the right colored blocks, meaning that you have to go through all of it again. It sucks. I don't like this level at all. I've gotten better at it over the years, but I'm still not- Really? Really? What just happened there? There is a little shortcut here, uh, for people who suck at games. Uh, Alright, um, <laughs> anyway. Bop, 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 I'm waiting, waiting, time killing, I'm time killing and waiting. By singing a song, have fun along. Uh, oh! Daisy Tear! Sad, sad liquid that restores 3 HP and cures poison. Get rid of that dry tree. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I forgot something. Okay, there. Um, what we're supposed to do is that you are supposed to actually go down there. You're supposed to turn it to pink. So we need pink blocks right now. Um, will this work? Yes, it will. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. Um. So now there's a pink block here. You. You can suck on my brush. <laughs> yes. Thought. Forgot about that. Oh my goodness, gravy. Yeah, the knockback in this game is a little crazy, Daisy. Haha. <laughs> um, that's why these amazing daisies suck so much. Because their knockback is so bad in this game. You can see how it gets a little frustrating. Okay, so we have this impassable uh, peel the spikes. What will we ever do? We need to use Slim. I need to stop before the spikes come up, or you will die. Except you won't die, you'll only take one hit point of damage. We need blue blocks. Ah! Ah! Okay. okay. So now we've made blue blocks appear. Hello! It's me, Mario! This! Okay, this! Part. This amazing daisy here is in the most jerkish location I've ever seen. No, I didn't mean to go back in. No, 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 no. Yes, this this da this amazy daisy, real jerk. I would recommend going to Slim. So scared right now. Oh. Ah! Screw you! I hate you! 
You're the one that you're the one that always screwed me up when I was a kid. Hit you. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is put Boomer here and go all the way over here so we can hit it from far away to get our blue block. Yeah. Pretty clever actually. It's pretty clever. Alright, the final stretch. Will I make it on my first try? I don't know. This is not the final stretch. Kind of, well it is, but I don't know. Okay, so this is the last side room we have to do. Um, switch to slim. Speedrunning tactics! Ha 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 ha! Okay, let's get out Boomer again. Play him down. Get him out. Blow him up. Get out slim. Couldn't do speed running. Help me! Help me! Now yeah, well. Now nah, well, it works anyway. I have a lot of HP. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I have. I have shroom shakes. That's what I have. Shroom shakes. Also, I never really acknowledged that um, there are these weird-looking, pixelated-looking enemies here. Those guys. Um, they come in four different colors, each assigned with a different letter of the alphabet, and I don't, and I haven't memorized the, uh, the letters with the colors. Um, but the blue one is the slowest, and then there's green, which is semi-slow, and then later we'll see yellow, which is even faster than green, and then red, which is literally blazing fast. Anyway, we've made it to the top, finally. Hit that switch and the door will appear. I use Thudley to hit you to get a super shroom, which will put us at full health. And now we can have the pleasure of just falling all the way down. Dang it, I hate you. We Alright. And so if you remember, that pipe that takes us all the way to the top, we now have to go up there. And we finally made it to the top. Uh, actually, let's go. All right, let's go. Finally, but we're still not done with the climbing. But <laughs> finally, you arrive. You don't wear tardiness well. At last, the hero I know you from the festival of hair that dances upon your lip. I am a humble servant of Count Black. Master of dimensions, pleaser of crowds, I am Dementio. It is truly enchanting to finally meet my hapless victims. I have prepared a special morsel of a treat for you. Oh, goody gumdrops. Oh! How about some magic? And voila, you are now in Dimension D. A dimension of my own creation. In this mind-bending realm, my attacks are 256 times more potent. I am now far more powerful. I can obliterate you with the raise of an eyebrow. Now we must duel like two gleaming banjos on a moonlit stoop. I don't think so, buddy, because I am Bowser. And if there's one thing you should know about Bowser and Fuddly Mix, they'll do 12 damage. Can you pierce this illusion? Oh, good grief gracious. Oh, my! Alright, um... I don't know, can I? You're the real one! You cannot actually tell which is the real one. You just have to do trial by error. I know it sucks, but... That's what happens. Also, dude... Kind of slacking in the power department, man. I mean, like, seriously, one damage? Aha! Yes, if you. Boom! Like that! If you manage to use Thudley with Bowser, it'll do 12 damage. Your blows are like a miniature jackhammers wielded by tiny, angry road workers! How is this possible? This dimension makes me 256 times more powerful! <laughs> You're such an idiot! This place makes me stronger, too! Uh -huh. Of course!
course! This was simply an amusement that I played out exactly as I planned. Were you amused? That was just an honor! The next time we meet, you will feast on a deadly eight-course meal. And with that, my diminutive limbed foe, I must say, ciao. Dementio, give me a break. That's the lamest villain ever. A little more brass. They are strong, but they must be stronger yet to defeat them. I must make sure they can face him when the time comes around at last. Alright, so we've we beat Dementia when we've made it to the top of the tree! I, I, well, I'm Mario. I recommend using Peach for this section. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we're climbing. Uh, we have Lakitu, so we'll throw stuff at you. Ah. And we finally made it to the top of the Hunnies. Uh, copyright. Oh, God. All right, so we, that mysterious pixel said to do something with the red wind it is the only thing that we can stand on. And as we cross this gorge, we will jump into this pipe. And finally reach the entrance to our desired destination. We have a coin block here. Get some good coins while we're at it. And that'll be it for this episode. Next time on Super Paper Mario, we're gonna go to Fort Francis and see if we can save Tippy. See you guys then.